Oh my god, they give you dance moves. God, <laughs> they didn't give me dance moves. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Toge Tuesday here at Dirt Rooster Bicycles. My name's Greg. And I'm Dave. And this time, we're going to be talking about the 510 Sleuth Slip-On Shoe in all of its glory. I got yeah. my grass-stained ones here because I've yeah. been wearing them ever since I got them. <laughs> Come in at $70 retail. Got the stealth rubber sole, slip on, and they're really comfortable to wear all the time. Sure. I think you got they one on Yeah, one foot. I do. I've been wearing one for a solid uh, probably two or three or four minutes now. <laughs> Feels like a sock, which is a, a good thing for a slip-in shoe. I don't even know if you can see it if it's in frame. Greg's going to help me out here. But yeah, they're pretty comfy. I'm a slip on kind of person, especially with my lounge shoes. Here you can hold this one. That yeah, way you can thank rest you. your I like leg. That a lot better. They're flexible, they're comfortable. I wore them all day in the shop, and then we went on a Sunday ride, and I completely forgot my clipless shoes, put flat pedals on my bike, rode in these, and had an awesome time. Like, they still grip That's really something. well. I was never someone that needed extremely tight fitting shoes. There are other people that like want to, like, the laces to be very tight so that there's no wiggle. This is not the shoe for them. Gotcha. This is a much more casual approach. If you explode off the bike, the shoes may explode off your feet. <laughs> but Man. like at that point, you already made it off the bike. So yeah, so, you're, so yeah. your shoes just roll down the trail <laughs> and, and you'll then you get pick em. up your bike and then you pick up your shoes and you keep rolling along. If you're looking for like the tightest fit, you're not looking for a slip on. That makes sense. Yeah, that's just shoe selection 101. Maybe 102. Oh, yeah. getting really into it. <laughs> For anybody that's looking to ride in a sticky rubber shoe is a much more entry price point that yep. makes a lot of sense I at love, $70. Yeah. Like, give it a go, see how it feels. Even if it doesn't have like as tight of a fit as your running shoe, the sticky rubber on there alone, I think will make a big difference. Sure. Delth rubber is a cool concept. People who have the free rider shoes and similar ones, they're on like year four or five and the bottom of their shoe looks fantastic. There was a time where 510 tried to do a softer rubber, and it was really sticky, but they gave up a lot of durability when they yep. did that. And so that going sense. back to the S1, which is this stealth design that has the dots, it increases durability a lot. I've had that's these nice. for about six months, and that doesn't sound like a long time, except when you add in that I've worn them literally every single day to work <laughs> and ridden in them, because I think a lot of people are just like trying to ride riding shoes only when they're riding. Sure. Whereas like these have held up and I plan on still wearing these. This is the 510 Sleuth Slip-On Shoe. Comes in at $70. Pretty neutral color, nothing too crazy. Feels really comfortable. Available here at Dirt Rooster Bicycles. Does it smell like me yet? I hope so. Makes me faster. <laughs> the sole intent that you want, which is sticking to a pedal pretty well. Sole intent, yeah. <laughs> you stuck that point in there stealthy. Please cut that. Yeah. 